Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is a subscriber requested title, okay? So singles, if you guys are single out there, who's coming into your life, okay? So we'll try to figure out their characteristics, things like that, you know, what type of person they could be, uh, maybe what their intend intentions are for their love life. Um, we'll look at a lot of different things as they come through. We'll see what comes through here today, okay? Um, always, always keep in mind that these are general readings. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Um, if, you know, player energy comes through, but you're surrounded by someone who is very loving and caring, maybe that player energy wasn't for you, okay? You have to use your own intuition and your own discernment always, okay? So please remember to like the video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. Okay, so today for crystal number one, we have the amethyst crystal. And we have the traditional manga tarot. For crystal number two, we have the rose quartz crystal with the universal Celtic tarot. And for crystal number three, we have the howlite crystal with the gilded tarot royale. Okay, so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most. If you're drawn to more than one, that is perfectly fine as well. You may have messages in more than one reading, okay? So choose however you'd like and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the amethyst crystal, and the traditional manga tarot this will be your reading okay crystal number one so today we are asking spirit for you singles out there who's coming into your life so who could you possibly encounter um in the energy soon okay let's see for crystal number one. Ooh, someone from your past Hmm, someone that you might have left behind before and that might just be for some of you okay but someone here very strongly coming through card number 33 as well master number hmm so for some of you singles i feel like you might be single you might have had a deep powerful connection with someone from your past and they may be returning to your life okay for a second chance this reading isn't telling you to give them a second chance of course if you don't feel <laughs> that they deserve one, obviously always follow your own intuition, okay? But this could be for some of you singles, someone coming back into your life, okay? Let's see what the tarot has to say for crystal number one. Who's coming into their life? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, wow. Someone who's very spiritual with judgment, okay? Someone that's really uh, powerfully spiritual may have gone through a spiritual awakening. For crystal number one, singles, who's coming into their life? So this could be someone, um, you know, that really woke up to who we truly are and, you know, really heal themselves. Wow. Someone very, very passionate. Ace of Wands. Extremely passionate individual. Wanting a new start. This is a big new start. So this could be someone who's really looking to start some sort of a relationship. We have passion there though. So let's see what else comes through. For crystal number one, singles. Who could be coming into their life? Hmm. Yeah, see, for some of you, it is something from your past here that ended with the death card coming through. This is a rebirth. 
Okay, only take it if it resonates, of course. And again, that message may be for specific individuals. If it doesn't fit for your situation, just leave that behind. But for some of you, this is definitely a very powerful connection from your past that someone had a very big uh, awakening in their life, okay? They've really woken up to more and really went, you know, on a inner journey here. Could be coming back around. Or it doesn't have to be someone from your past. It could be just someone who is very spiritual, who had a spiritual awakening and is a very beautiful, kind soul who is very passionate about life, really wanting to start something new in their love life here. Singles for crystal number one, who's coming into their life. For crystal number one, singles, who's coming into their life. Thank you. Five of Swords, hmm. Yeah, see, there could have been some conflict. There's some conflict here in the past. Yeah, this is, for, for a lot of you here, I feel like this is someone that you know or that you were connected to. You could have been in a relationship with them. And there was some sort of conflict between you. There was a, yeah, there was something that, you know, caused it all to fall apart here. Hmm, this is coming through pretty strongly, too. Lots of different energies surrounding that situation. All right, let's get more judgment. So someone really waking up to the truth of who we are as souls, okay? Um beautiful loving individual here very passionate with the ace of wands singles who could be coming into your life for crystal number one singles who could be coming into their life please judgment why judgment yeah we have the star card yeah so they've healed okay they've healed themselves and that's exactly what I was feeling here was they woke up to something. Um, maybe there was a situation from the past that they needed to heal with you. Either way, this is someone who's really, even if they're not from your past, this is someone who has really taken that inner journey, you know, gone deep within and seen where they needed healing. You know, they might have been fearing um, relationships. But I feel like this is someone who has worked on themselves, okay? That's coming toward you. Crystal number one. Singles, who's coming into their life, please? For crystal number one, spirit. Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Someone who's really going to want to work with you, work together. Um, three of Pentacles, very beautiful energy of, you know, being on the same page, really wanting the same things, working together for a common goal. So this is beautiful. This is really good um, teamwork energy, you know, wanting to be a team. Very nice. For crystal number one singles, who's coming into their life? Why the death card here? Hmm. Ten of swords, higher fancy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is the end of a painful cycle, start of a new commitment with the Hierophant. I've learned my lesson. See, some of you, and it's only some of you, but these are very specific messages. I've learned my lesson. This person may have lost you due to their own wounding. You know, they may have been hurting you with their own wounding, you know. Wow. So ending a painful cycle. Hierophant too. For some of you, your person coming into your life, not necessarily related to this ending. But for some of you, your person may have been married in the past. So this could be someone who's divorced coming, um, you know, putting themselves back out on the market ending a painful cycle of maybe being alone for a long time okay so for some of you that might be someone that's coming toward you 
someone who was married in the past and is divorced. For crystal number one, singles, who's coming into their life? Why the five of swords? This I feel is the connection to this person. If you have a person in your past that you were connected to very strongly and there was some sort of conflict that pulled you apart, that's what I feel like this one is involving. Why the five of swords? Four of swords, yeah, see? And now it's healed, right, exactly. Okay, yeah, so for some of you out there, you singles that may be disconnected from someone because there was some sort of conflict that pulled you apart. It caused everything to fall apart. Um, they're coming back around a more healed version with this very first card out judgment with the star energy too. Um, and for some of you, if this is not someone from your past, like I said, this is someone who has really done the inner work. Okay. Okay not even related to you, just related to themselves, to their life, okay? They've really gone inward. They've really done a lot of healing. They're very passionate about life now, and they're really wanting to start something new and w have a beautiful connection of, you know, working together as a team. So this will be someone coming in who you know, wants to give equal effort, you know, really wants to work with you toward a common goal. You might have the same values as this person. Again, someone, this person may have been very wounded in the past, not necessarily connected to you, but really coming to a better place within themselves where they can be more open-hearted for a new love coming in, you know? And for some of you, this person may have been married. Like I said, they may be a divorcee who is coming out and saying, you know what, it's time for me to live my life again. You know, have fun. Meet someone that I can love right, that I can share life with. Okay, definitely someone who's done a lot of healing. Healing on the board a lot here, okay? So very, very good energy to start here with the tarot. Let's get some oracle cards. For crystal number one, singles, who could be coming into their life? For some of you, this could be a very high level soulmate that's coming with the Hierophant and Judgment on the board as well. Very spiritual connection, okay? We have two here. We have play and soulmate. I was just saying that. Yeah, I was literally just saying how with Judgment and the Hierophant, we could have a soulmate situation coming in. And someone who's very playful, okay? Someone who's not going to want to take life so seriously. They're going to want to have some fun with play, okay? So very nice energy. Very lighthearted. Very, very nice. Let's see what else. For crystal number one, singles. Who's coming into their life? For crystal number one, please. Singles, who's coming into their life? Someone who's extremely passionate, though. Also, with that Ace of Wands. Wanting to really work together as a team. That's a beautiful message there. Whoa, we have a big mess. Okay, <laughs> we have a few, so we shall take them. What do we have, like four? Oh, wow. Three of which I cannot show you the imagery on. <laughs> okay, this one we have, ooh, wow. For some of you, power couple here. You could be meeting someone that's right for you, okay? You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. But for some of you, I'm feeling like you might be meeting someone who is right for you. But again, that say no or walk away at any time, use your own discernment, right? Yeah, feeling very, very powerful, power couple energy there. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So again, for some of you, this could be a very high level soulmate or even a twin flame entering your life. 
with sacred union for sure coming through that could be a sacred union some a very very powerful connection close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful play ah see you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so this is someone who's very optimistic okay and just wanting to enjoy life right feeling like they they deserve enjoyment now right yeah very very nice and healing see i told you someone who's really worked on healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment wow so this connection could be a very healing connection for you as well very very beautiful very beautiful okay let's get more for singles, crystal number one, who's coming into their life? We have destiny. Wow. This is someone who, yeah, you could be destined to meet this person. You know, divine intervention might bring you together with this person. Yeah, this could be someone uh, coming into your life, crystal number one, by surprise, okay? Not even expecting, you know, this to happen. Spontaneous type of meeting. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's get more. Ah, see? Last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. Here's again, someone from your past, possibly for some of you, coming back in. Someone that you've left behind before, coming back around, okay? And for some of you, this message, I mean, could really mean, you know, leave it behind. Maybe it wasn't meant for you. Or maybe it was for some of you as well, right? So again, it's about using your own discernment, always following your own intuition, okay? Never let a reading tell you what you should be doing with your life ever, ever, especially these general readings on YouTube, absolutely not. Even a private reading, you know you better than any reading you'll get, okay? You have the best connection to your own intuition i'm connecting here with you guys but i'm still not you okay you know best for you always keep that in mind when watching any of these readings okay i love you guys I want you to do the best thing for you guys but yeah for some of you maybe it is someone that was in your past and you really do need to leave them behind coming back around maybe they they haven't changed in the ways that you needed them to. And I'm not saying you want to change anyone into something that they're not. But what I'm saying is maybe you and this person's values were not in line and they're still not in line. Okay. But for some of you, I feel like this is someone that's coming in that does share the same values and morals as you. And they want to work together as a team. So... This could be someone from your past who really woke up to things within themselves that needed healing, and now they are in alignment with you. Or it could still be the same person coming back around, right? So you, you always have to, you know, definitely look at what's in front of you and what your intuition is telling you about it. Let's see what else. Ooh, yeah. This is powerful coming through in this reading. A lot of soulmate energy. Birds of a feather is another soulmate energy uh, coming through for you, Crystal number one. So for some of you singles out there, you could be encountering your soulmate soon here, okay? For Crystal number one singles, who's coming into their life, please? Whoa, okay, we got a few here. We have one, two, three, four, four, okay. Otter spirit, you are never alone. Hmm. Someone feeling deeply connected to you energetically. 
Yeah, for some of you, you're feeling energetically connected to this person already. Even if you're single, you're feeling some sort of energetic connection to this person. Could be dreaming here. Connecting in the 5D. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. So someone who is free and available, okay, coming into your life. If they're not free and available, that might not be the person, right? If they aren't free and available right now, maybe they're becoming free and available to come to you. But when they come to you, card 33, okay, yep. Spirit bringing that to my attention. This is card 33 as well. That's the second time it's come through, okay? Um, yeah, if they're not free and available right now, they will be when they come to you is what I feel that card is saying there. And they're going to be a person who isn't going to be controlling either. They're going to know that, you know, freedom is very important in relationships, right? Being free to be yourselves and do the things that make you happy and bring you joy, you know? House spirit. I mean, house spirit? No, not house Although maybe someone single is going to be attracting someone who has a house, wants to buy a house, maybe, okay, because that coming through there for a reason, I don't believe in coincidences, mouse spirit, tending to the small things, yeah, maybe someone who's buying a house could be in the process of that, maybe, tending to the details, so if you meet someone, you feel a deep soul connection to them, and then they're like, oh, I'm in the process of buying a house, that might be a little clue that this is who this is about, <laughs> right? Maybe, I don't know. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. So again, very spiritual. They, they are following their inner guidance as well in their life now. I feel like this is someone who is very tapped in was feeling that very spiritual energy coming through with the very first card out. So they are trusting in the divine plan, this person, okay? Very nice. Let's see. Singles, who's coming into your life for crystal number one? A lot of cards coming out for you. There was four, a lot of four. Mm, Self-love, someone who takes care of themselves, very self-loving. So they'll be, I feel like, very magnetic, attractive to you energetically, okay? This has nothing to do with looks or anything like that, okay? It has everything to do with their energy, okay? A lot of times people think self-love is about spas and getting their nails done. And I mean, that's all great if that's what you want to do, of course, right? You know, their nails, their makeup, whatever. That's all wonderful if that's what you enjoy and that's what makes you feel good. But that's not all what self-love is about. Self-love is about, you know, really um, choosing the things that are best for yourself, right? Not just kind of, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, kind of just doing your own thing knowing who you are there we go i was waiting for one more to come out since we already had and we have two actually um since we already have multiples of the other ones i figured we'd get a couple of these healing yeah they're definitely someone who has healed themselves really did a lot of inner work self-love right done a lot of inner work and now they're very confident very magnetic having faith nice see very connected to the divine, having faith in their plan. Yeah, trusting. They're trusting the universe here. They're trusting that the universe is guiding them. So this person may come to you very confident that, you know, they feel this connection with you. You know, so if you're encountering someone who's pretty confident about what they're, they're putting out there, it could be because they're really following that inner guidance, right? They're following their intuition. Someone seeing you across the room, brown hair. Someone seeing you across the room, brown hair. They could be like really pulled to go talk to you. You know, it's like that energy there. Hmm. Okay. Let's get more. 
Let's get these out. Singles. Who's coming into your life? Mm, could be a friend for some of you. Let your friends help you. I feel with this card, it could be a friend. So someone that's a friend right now that has romantic feelings for you. Let go of control issues. So someone that won't try to control you. I was feeling that on the freedom card. They won't try to control you. That You know, this is someone who has done the work, okay? So that's a good sign too. Letting go of control issues. They might have had control issues in the past. If this is someone from your past that you were connected to, maybe that was why you got disconnected. Okay. And maybe this person now has let go of those control issues. Ah, calling in your soulmate. Another card about soulmate coming through. Very powerful energy of, whoa. Very powerful energy of, you know, your soulmate coming your way. Okay, for all you singles out there, if you haven't met them yet, you might be meeting a soulmate. Making the effort. Yeah, three of pentacles. Like I said, someone who is going to make the effort. They're going to give to this connection, you know, time, attention, energy, heart. Ooh, someone who likes to talk. Really loving heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So deep talk. Very nice free yourself. Hmm, yeah, for some of you, this is the second time freedom coming through. We also did have someone here that might be um, past in the past, maybe married or maybe in a very committed connection. They might be setting themselves free. So this could be someone um, that was in a relationship. It doesn't have to be recently, could be in the past, but they freed themselves from it and they've healed, you know, and now they're moving on. Very nice. Let's get more. Singles. Who's coming into crystal number one's life, please? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. See, so this is someone who is going to want to work together with you. Very, very beautiful. It's very, very um, teamwork, you know, knowing that it's not all one person in a relationship, right? keep an open mind. So it's a very open-minded individual as well. Okay. Very, very nice. Worth waiting for. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck. For some of you, yeah, you might have been single for a long time is what I'm getting here. Meeting this person will make you realize it was worth the wait. For some of you, this is a very powerful connection coming toward you. Very, very nice. Okay, let's get these. For crystal number one. Who's coming into their life, please? Singles. Mm. Either way, stroke of luck is going to bring them in. I definitely felt like for some of you, it might be a spontaneous or serendipitous type meeting. Luck is on your side. So it's you're going to feel lucky to have found them. Can't get these straight. There we go. You're going to feel lucky to have found this person. So someone meditating and contemplating. Very nice. So they're not just making um, rash decisions. This is someone who, you know, meditates, calms the mind. So very good. Could have a very, um, again, spiritual practice that they, they practice each day. Ooh, nice. Look at the bigger picture. For some of you singles, they could be someone who wants to commit here with look at the bigger picture. So this could be someone coming toward you that wants long term. And for some of you, this person has brown hair. That coming through again. Across the room, brown hair. Be bold and make the first move. So this is someone who will be bold and come toward you, make the first move. Yeah, you know, be bold and make the first move. I would, That brown hair message came through again as I was shuffling for this. This could be someone seeing you across the room and then just 
you know, being bold and coming forward and saying, hey, you know, want to go on a date, <laughs> you know, something like that. Seriously, I feel like it's, it's that strong a pull. Yeah, I told you, ascension, someone who's really done that inner work and raised their vibration. They're very confident, may not have been in the past, okay? A very truthful person. Very good. Someone who's honorable. Very nice. Singles for Crystal. Thank you. Ah, see? Past, present, future. Someone who was meant from your past that is meant to be in your future for some of you. Destiny coming through as well. For some of you, this is a past life connection or a past relationship. Um very powerful soul bond that's coming back around and it's meant to be in your future is what's coming through there but in destiny coming through over here as well for some of you it might not be always like i said but some of you it is one more please for crystal number one singles who's coming into their life Nothing. Wow. Surprising. These usually fly out really... There we go. Easily. We have two. Psychic development. Hold on. Let me put those down. I can't do it with one hand. Psychic development in a journey. Yeah. Someone who, again, I've been saying this since the beginning. This person has really done the work. Okay. So, and really following their intuition now as well. Okay, so someone who has that intuitive hit that you're right for them, you know, they may, like I said, be immediately drawn to you and just know, like, from within, like, I got to go talk to this person, you know? Wow, okay, crystal number one, that is who could be coming into your life. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the Rose Quartz crystal, and the Universal Celtic Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number two. So today we are asking spirit for singles. Who's coming into your life? So we'll try to see what comes through here for who's coming into your life so you can maybe spot them when you meet them <laughs> let's see for singles for crystal number two who's coming into their life singles for crystal number two please hmm. interesting rituals and offerings so i feel like this person um First, I feel like they could be very spiritual in nature. They might have some sort of a spiritual practice um, that they use on the daily basis, but also someone who wants to offer you a lot here with rituals and offerings. Someone that wants to offer you a lot. So really wanting to invest in a connection. So this is a good sign for... I feel like someone who might be looking for a long-term relationship here with that card there. Someone who's really grown spiritually, really uh, worked on themselves, could be currently working on themselves as well. You know, healing is a process, a lifelong process. We continue to learn and grow and evolve. This is someone here who has, I feel, ooh, Knight of Wands. So they'll be very passionate as well. Um, very attractive person. And someone who finds you very attractive. Very passionate energy here with the Knight of Wands. Someone who's going to want to move forward. Um, always keep in mind, these are general readings also. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind and always, always use your own discernment. I'm going to say this in every one of these readings today. Always use your own discernment, okay? Never, ever let a reading tell you what to do with your life. You are your own best guide 
follow your intuition. If this reading is saying this person's passionate and loving and, you know, um, they want long term and they're showing you the total opposite and you your intuition is telling you, mm, I don't know about this one, then you know what? You don't know about this one, <laughs> you know? So always keep that in mind when watching any uh, general reading on YouTube. Um, you are your own best guide, you know? I connect to you guys here, yes, but your own intuition knows best. So a very passionate character. The Knight of Wands can also be a player energy as well. So um, for some of you, you know, like I said, spot them and you, when you get those feelings, then maybe you need to follow that, right? But for someone here, I don't feel like it's a player energy. I feel like it's someone who is just gets very um, excited when they, you know, really set their eye on something here. Nothing else wanting to come out. Very slow cards. This could be someone who wants to take this relationship very slowly, which is not a bad thing, right? Really wanting to get to know you because the cards are really slow. Crystal number two, singles. Who's coming into their life? It's just a man on a white horse. Could have blonde hair. A man on a white unicorn, actually. That's it. That's all that's coming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But still nothing coming out. So let's see. For crystal number two, singles. What's coming? Who's coming into their life? Could have someone with blonde hair, though, coming through here as well. Alrighty, we got one. Ooh, someone with the moon. Ooh, this might be a tough one to get their feelings out of them, okay? Hmm. Yeah, so with the moon card coming out, what I'm feeling here, first of all, I'm feeling like they could be very intuitive. Secondly, I feel like your intuition will be on point when reaching this person or being in their presence. And they might have trouble expressing emotions, okay? There might be a little bit of a hard time getting their feelings out of them when it comes to deep emotion. Hmm. So someone may be fearful of expressing. They may be the type of person who kind of wants to show you how they feel, but might not feel comfortable speaking it so, you know, so easily. Let's get more, please, for singles. Who's coming into crystal number two's life? Thank you. We got two at once that time. Nice. Ooh, temperance. Yeah, I told you they're going to want to take it slow. So be patient uh, with this person. This is someone who will have a great deal of patience as well. Yeah, feeling like they might be a very balanced individual, you know, really. Um, they've worked hard at healing. Hmm. Yeah, they are going to want to take it slow, though. I was feeling that already. The Knight of Wands is a fast-moving energy, and so is the Chariot, though. So being a general reading, for some of you, maybe they won't want to take it so slow. For some of you, mm, yin-yang here. Powerful divine masculine energy coming through on this one. For some of you, this could be a very powerful soul bond. Um could even be a twin flame that you meet here. If you meet your twin flame, you will know it. No reading will tell you that. You'll know it, okay? But if you meet your twin flame, um, this definitely could be them here. And they could have dark hair for someone. The chariot. There is a someone here that's really wanting to rush forward. So for some of you, I feel like you might have a slow mover. And for some of you, I feel like you might have someone who does kind of want to rush in. Um, yeah, this with this twin flame thing too, it may seem very sudden, quick and intense right out of the gate. Okay. 
Um, well, we'll get more on that one. But yeah, so blonde hair, dark hair so far. Someone very passionate. Someone that could be afraid to speak their feelings, but not really afraid to show them. So, and someone who wants to take it slow and for others wants to take it fast. Let's see. For crystal number two, who's coming into your life? Singles, who's coming into your life? For crystal number two, thank you. Seven of cups, hmm. So, for some of you, and this is coming out on the Knight of Wands, for some of you, that player energy may be relevant, okay? This could be someone that has multiple options, okay? They might be, you know, just kind of dating, having like, you know, a little bit of time here and there with you. Um, and again, you need to pick up on that energy. So if you're looking for someone who, you know, is just kind of, trying different relationships, you know, dating, not necessarily committing, then this could be, you know, what you're looking for. Or if you're looking for long term and you feel somebody coming toward you and they're in this energy here, that might be your, you know, your intuition trying to tell you to pull away from that situation, um, you know, and not necessarily move forward. Um, but for some of you, that may be what you're looking for too. Just someone to have a little bit of fun with for now. Uh, definitely a lot of choices for someone here. Someone that's coming toward you. So they may, this could also be confusion or daydreaming about the future too. Mm. For some of you, this person, ah, for some of you, this person is daydreaming of the future and they're really passionate about what they feel for you. So you kind of, it's almost like that. I feel like they're struck. They're in awe. Hmm. Multiple things coming through here. Okay. Let's get more on the moon, please. For singles, for crystal number two, who's coming into their life? multiple different energies coming through. We did have yin, yin yang and divine masculine, dark hair, blonde hair for some of you, some slow, some fast, some confusion, but for some of you, not necessarily confusion. This could be confusion about who to choose too, right? Like maybe they were dating someone else when they met you and now they've met you and they're struck by you. And they could be like, oh no, what do I do, right? Crystal number two, this person is really intriguing. I'm extremely passionate about them. What do I do, you know? Can we get more on the moon, please, for crystal number two? I definitely feel like there's more slow-moving connections coming toward you. Crystal number two, then fast, because the cards are being really slow. Ooh, nice. Nice. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, though, on the moon. So this is kind of like that planting that seed. Ace of Pentacles. This is a bright new beginning. So yeah, showing you how they feel, but not necessarily saying it. So you might see through their actions, okay, that this person is really wanting to start something new. For some of you, this definitely could be long term, like I was feeling there. Okay, someone that's really wanting to offer you a lot. This is a big offer. Ace of Pentacles. Temperance. Let's see. Taking quite a while for these cards to come out. We have Temperance. Somebody really wanting to go slow. Someone really balanced, though. So you'll feel like they're very um, a balanced individual. You know, they're not like chaotic or all over the place. They kind of have a peace about them. Temperant. Thank you. Nice. Very nice. Queen of Cups. Beautiful. So this is very loving and nurturing. So this person wants to love and nurture you. 
um, again, love you properly, really, I do feel like it's a big offer for some of you. It's someone who could see a future with you. Hoping that you're open and receptive and that you're not closed down to love. The Queen of Cups is about receiving. So they do want to give to you. They want to offer you a lot. They just hope that you're open to receive. Very, very nice. Beautiful energy there. This could be a... This could turn into a long-term, like I said, situation with this unconditional love coming through here. They have a loving, kind, generous heart. They want to nurture a connection with you. The chariot. Feeling fast forward movement. Divine masculine energy coming through. Page of Wands. Wow. Very exciting news. Hmm. Yeah, so this is exciting. This is passion. This is action. So for some of you, there is a lot of passion and there is a drive to move forward toward victory from this person. So this person sees this connection as something that could be very successful. Okay, um, definitely a good situation for both of you. Um, this is, of course, from this person's energy. They're viewing you as a good catch, you know, someone that they could build something very solid with. Let's see who's coming into your life. Definitely could. <laughs> My goodness, that's a lot. There's like four, I think. Definitely a lot of movement energy here. So this is good. And again, some slow, some fast. These are both very fast moving energies, but I do feel like there's a slowness about, wow, there is so many. Look at this. They all fell out. There's like five of them. We'll go one at a time. Expression. Yeah. See, they're going to have a little bit of, I definitely am picking up for some of you, this person that comes toward you might be a little bit shy or afraid to express verbally what they're feeling. They'll be able to show you though. They're going to be someone who wants to protect you. Okay. So they are going to be very protective of you in this connection. Very nice. Keeping you safe. They're a very grateful person. So this is beautiful. This, they have a beautiful energy. If they're very grateful to have met you, they will be grateful to have met you. Cozy home. So they do want to build something with you here as well. So this is someone I feel that's coming toward you. Again, for some of you, you may encounter someone who's kind of playing the field, you know, Keep an eye out for it since it presented here. But for others, this same energy is not that. Okay, it's a lot of passion and desire for forward movement. And it's about daydreaming about a future. This is about building cozy home. A lot of big energies coming through for long term. Wow, and soulmates too. So for some of you, this could be a soulmate that you're encountering. A high level soulmate or twin flame definitely coming through here in this reading okay and of course only take like i said what resonates for you let's get more oh can't show you the front of that one. Ooh, sexual union one eternal soul yeah see so for some of you you are going to have a very beautiful physical attraction with this person sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss for some of you i definitely feel like it could be a powerful twin flame connection coming your way you'll know it though if it is um you'll definitely uh feel the difference there with past connections but that was already coming through on the chariot which is a strange energy to come through the chariot but hmm, yeah and a very intense physical attraction you're going to feel to this person and them to you what else singles thank you Peace. Wow. B 
beautiful. See, so they they want peace and happiness, this person. They want just, you know, a calm, honest, beautiful, harmonious relationship. So if this is the type of relationship you're looking for, then this seems to be on the way. Definitely was picking that up here too. They have some sort of a spiritual practice. They're very peaceful and calm. They're not like chaotic, you know? So they want, they want peace and happiness is what I'm feeling from this person. Love and nurturing. Beautiful singles for crystal number two who's coming into their life please long dark hair for someone long dark hair that came through somewhere <laughs> i don't know long dark hair so someone coming at you with long dark hair for someone Mm, see, look at this. Yeah, stepping into their power. So really claiming their own power. This person has, I feel, worked on themselves. Uh, rituals and offering definitely felt that. There's a lot of inner work that's been going on. They're opening up to change too. So they could be changing for some of you. There's something that's changing in this person's life at this time. Aries and Aquarius. For some of you, there's something changing in this person's life at this time. So they might not be coming right now. Or maybe they are, but you know they're going through a change. Maybe you know this person for some of you. And you see that there's a change happening here. We have two... The royal you and ooh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. This is going to be a big, beautiful love that's coming toward you. Beautiful uncaging, okay? Uh, I feel like you're, this is very powerful with the royal you coming out with it. This is like empress energy. So this is a beautiful energy of unconditional love, nurturing, harmony, peace flow yeah wow and beautiful on caging is a big wide open heart so this person's gonna really open their heart to you at some point again i feel like that may take some time for some of you because for some of you i definitely feel like they're a little bit worried or nervous about speaking the words but not about showing you so take that as it resonates too. Um, you know, I feel like this person may show you very easily how they're feeling through action. But the words might not escape their lips right away, you know. What else? Singles. Who's coming into their life? Ooh, wow. Wow very powerful beautiful energy of loyalty so this person will be very loyal to you in your connection too very very beautiful when this person loves they love fully very very nice okay let's get more for crystal number two who's coming toward crystal number two who's coming into their life for a single crystal number two, children, someone, for some of you, they may have children, okay? Uh, this person coming at you may have children. They may be wanting to have children too. That could be a thing for some of you single. Oops, soulmate. Another energy of soulmate coming through. For crystal number two, singles, please. Who is this person? Who's coming into their life? Give your relationship a chance. Someone that's going to put in effort, okay? Someone who really wants to work on things and make things, you know, um, communicate. I feel like there's a lot of communication with that card. Um, really talking about things. Yeah, plans for the future. So someone who wants to talk about plans for the future coming through. 
past life relationship coming through here as well flying out before I could even really shuffle in a very fancy fashion I feel like someone here is fancy um, the way that card kind of came out hmm his blonde hair and dark hair together here too so one of you may have dark hair and one of you may have blonde hair past life relationship though high level soulmate here twin flame someone that you shared a past life with you're gonna feel a very big sense of familiarity when you meet this person if you haven't met them yet you might have already met them for some of you they may be in your life but maybe not in a romantic sense okay but someone definitely wanting to put effort in to making this communicating that they there is a desire for a relationship you know maybe not feelings but you know like or maybe feel, for some of you maybe feelings but for some of you definitely i feel like they'll show you more than anything like they'll come to you and you know like ask you to go to dinner instead of saying like hey i'm really into you you know what i mean they'll be like yeah just kind of asking you out on a date and then kind of just flowing with it from there but there might be a lot of communication too the end of a tough cycle approaches wow so for some of you i definitely feel like for you or this person coming toward you you could have been single for quite some time is what i'm picking up here i feel like this is this person for some of you i feel like it's both of you yeah for some of you it could be that you've both been single for a really long time Who's coming toward crystal number two? Someone that's going to step out of their comfort zone. Wow. So yeah, this is here. This here is a comfort zone. That not speaking their truth. So they may... This could be someone who was stuck in a comfort zone. In an uncomfort zone. What the heck is that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay stuck in an uncomfort zone for some of you they're stepping out of a comfort zone and they may speak their truth even if they're fearful they may speak it that's the first message second message is someone's stuck in an uncomfort zone <laughs> so someone's stuck in a sit this person for some of you is stuck in a situation that they're not comfortable with but they're about to step out of that stuck in a situation that they're uncomfortable with i'm kind of feeling like belief systems or religion possibly hmm interesting energy there something that they're trying to detach from an uncomfort zone i've never heard it come through that way meditate and contemplate yeah see told you this person is someone who has a spiritual practice a daily ritual of meditation and contemplation you know they really tap into their inner wisdom so this is really good we have work through your fears ah see yeah someone working through their fears and luck is on the side okay working through their fears so this person isn't someone who's going to give up easy they're going to work through those fears even if it is about expressing to you i feel like they will at some point okay and feeling lucky to have found you so this person is feeling fortunate to have come across you met you however you came across this person they're feeling very fortunate okay let's get one final card out here well, not one final card, but we'll get a few of these. Mm. So this person really wants to build a beautiful, sacred space for the two of you. Um, this is someone who could be introverted and really wanting to spend a lot of time. A Kind of like a homebody energy I'm getting here. Someone who likes to spend a lot of quiet time, you know, really reflecting. Hmm okay so that could be someone similar to you similar to you or your values how you like to live your life ascension yeah so they've really raised their vibration 
they've really put in the inner work definitely was feeling that right away someone who's gone through a huge transformation you may have known this person before is what i'm getting here you may have known this person before and they the next time you like meet them or run into them it's like wow they've really transformed their life yeah wow okay for singles who's coming into crystal number two's life one more please Ooh, feminine energy so good this is about being open and receptive so this is someone who wants to be open and receptive to love they're not closed down or guarded okay so we did have that come through here too um really hoping that you're open and receptive as well wanting to love and nurture so this person is wanting to love and nurture a connection they really want to you know commit to something with the ace of pentacles i feel like it's definitely a long-term situation that this person would be looking for um and again that might only be for some of you because this in the beginning that player energy did come through for some of you so keep your eye out always 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 following your own intuition you are your own best guide right so if you feel someone's a player don't think oh but the rest of the reading said that they want long term no <laughs> take the reading and throw it out the door and listen to yourself always okay i love you guys and i want you guys to choose what's best for you always okay all right crystal number two well that is what i have for you for today i really hope that this reading was helpful Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the Howl Light Crystal, and the Gilded Tarot Royale, this will be a reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking Spirit for singles. Who's coming into your life? So we'll try to see who's coming into your life next or you know your next relationship coming in for crystal number three singles who's coming into their life please for crystal number three who's coming into crystal number three's life please we have three delight someone that wants to make you happy so someone that's cheerful calling forth the waves yeah so they're not gonna this is a type of person that will stand up for what's right and with the noble one out with it too so they were someone who wants to do the right thing so they're a very noble person um always looking to do the right thing okay someone who stands up for you know whatever they feel is right so that's good as well and someone very joyful happy um, wanting to make you happy so they'll want to make you happy they will you know really strive to have peace harmony laughter joy very beautiful okay very nice energies to start this one here crystal number three okay let's see singles who's coming into your life always keep in mind too at these readings general reading on youtube right always 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 follow your own intuition don't ever let a reading tell you this person will be perfect and then you meet someone and they're not so perfect your intuition is like nope run well guess what nope run throw the reading out the window always 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 follow your own intuition you are your own best guide okay i'm connecting with you guys here yes i'm putting forth the energies that spirit is allowing me to hear for you today yes however you and your own in, you have the best connection to your own intuition than anyone so always always follow your gut okay let's see but for some of you you know i mean you may run into this person and they may be perfect for you you know and of course if your intuition is telling you that too then awesome you know it's amazing dark hair person could have dark hair black hair black hair for someone okay let's see what else 
who's coming into crystal number three's life for singles here who's coming into crystal number three's life nothing wanting to come through yet who's coming into crystal number three's life please for singles who's coming into their life I feel like it could be someone who's very joyful though. Oh, nice, yeah. Someone who's very joyful, you know, wanting to have a good time, has a good sense of humor, the full energy. Yeah, they might be very playful too. Um, not afraid to take risks with the full energy. Someone who's wanting to start a new journey, you know, really wanting to take a risk and take that leap of faith. Nice. And someone who is, could possibly be a risk taker. Like I said, they could have a dog. Um, also, they could have just undergone a major transformation with that huge blue butterfly here. Right here. Um, yeah, huge personal transformation coming through. Wow, so someone who's really done a lot of inner work nice okay let's see what else for crystal number three singles who's coming into their life please there we go Ooh, nice ace of wands is a beautiful passionate energy so this will be someone who's extremely passionate uh wanting a new start once again another energy of new start and very, very passionate. So I feel like they could be very attractive. They're also going to be very attracted to you. Mm, very nice. And taking an action taker. An action taker. Okay, good. Someone who takes action doesn't just sit back. All right, let's get more. For singles, crystal number three. Ooh, beautiful queen of cup more dogs and they're little white dogs too small white dogs three of them here um yeah i feel for some of you this person definitely has dogs um could be multiple dogs could be white dogs too um Queen of Cups, though, feeling very loving and nurturing. So this person is a very loving, kind, nurturing soul who's wanting to offer you a lot, hoping to um, be receiving love back in return. Okay, so yeah, looking for a balanced, beautiful connection is what I feel this person here is looking for. Hmm. Very nice energy. Singles, who's coming into crystal number three's life, please? For singles, who's coming into crystal number three's life? Did I get a flipper? I mm, thought something flipped for a second there. No. All right. I thought it did. For crystal number three, who's coming into their life? Who's coming into single crystal number three who's coming into their life there we go we have two ooh, two oh, i messed up my computer two together Ooh, okay so yeah very passionate and seductive energy here uh you're gonna be very tempted by this person okay with the devil energy um taking next steps though three of wands um they could with the with this three of wands i'm feeling like you're kind of waiting for your ship to come in here you're sitting on the dock here or standing um and you're kind of holding your light waiting for the ship to come in so this could be someone who yeah they might not want to move very quickly okay is kind of what i'm getting here their next step might have you feeling like things aren't moving why are things not moving and you may be kind of like tempted to push forward with this i feel like this is this is someone who's going to want to move slower okay so I wouldn't try to like force or control the situation. I would just kind of go with the flow here with this person. 
they're wanting to do things the right way. They're kind of wanting to take it slow, really get to know you, um, is kind of what I'm feeling here. With these two cards coming out, you may be feeling a little bit like impatient or something like that with the connection. Like it may be slow moving, so you might be wondering why, and you might be wanting to rush things forward. But just kind of go with the flow with with this person. If they're exhibiting this energy here, um, they're just wanting to really do things the right way. Okay, let's see. The Fool card. For crystal number three, singles, who's coming into their life? We have the Knight of Wands and strength wow so someone who's very courageous yeah they're not afraid to take risks okay and knight of wands is a very passionate energy once again lots of passion um here too leo energy on the strength card so lots of fire energy there's a very very powerful attraction you're gonna feel with this person and they're very courageous so i feel like they're they're not afraid, like they're unafraid to, you know, take that risk and move forward. It, they could have been different in the past, though, with that transformational energy coming through. They might have been someone who, you know, shied away from taking risks. And they've really done a lot of inner work. Ace of Wands, what is this about? So they're definitely passionate, um, a passionate individual wanting a new start here very attractive possibly uh very attracted to you as well okay let's see what we got here we have the nine of cups nice nine of cups yeah nine of cups so wish fulfillment hmm so someone again they're going to want to make you happy delight card they're really wanting to start something off here with you and really you know offer you a lot really try to have balance and harmony with you nine of cups is about wish fulfillment so you could be a wish come true to this person too you could be someone who really you know strikes them as a beautiful individual that they really want to get involved with you know with the ace of wands there queen of cups loving nurturing open and receptive page of wands more passion wow so you could um you know while you're waiting this could be while you're waiting they could be um very good with words is kind of what i'm getting here there's also a card two cardinals coming through this is a sign of twin flames um hmm interesting so this could be a very powerful soul connection coming for some of you here and i'm feeling like a lot of passionate like you might have some flirty messages or it i feel like it's written communication so i'm feeling like text messages or something like that where they're, they don't have any trouble expressing to you how beautiful they think you are. And, you know, a lot of communication, I feel, with that card. So this is someone who's going to want to communicate a lot. Um, hmm. But yeah, and communicate like how passionate they are about you. And how much they, you know, really want to take this risk. They could be, yeah, this could be like someone who's unafraid of, you know, coming forward with a love offer, you know. But I do feel like they want to take things slowly. With that, again, that three of wands and this devil card, I feel like you're kind of waiting for the ship to come in. But they haven't gone anywhere you know they're not it's not the ship isn't going in the opposite direction it's just coming toward you slowly okay it's kind of what i'm feeling could i get clarifiers on that please three of wands and the devil three of wands and the devil clarify thank you two together 
King of Cups and five of exactly. Yep. So that's exactly what I was feeling. They're, they kind of hold back their energy a little bit. Okay. They're, you know, they're doing their own inner work. They're trying to do the right thing by you. They don't want to rush into anything. But when they hold back their energy a little bit, you kind of get nervous that like things are going sideways with that devil card. That's fear. Okay. Um, and you're very tempted by this person. You're very tempted like you want to rush it ahead because it feels so right is what I'm feeling. But the other thing that I'm noticing here is that we have a king and a queen of cups on the board here. This is a divine couple coming out. So it definitely could be a high level soulmate or twin flame that's coming toward you. Um, king of cups is very, very much in their emotions. So this person does have a high level of love for you in their heart. Okay, when they when they come toward you and they're expressing this deep, powerful love, just believe them, okay? Um, and, if, and of course, <laughs> I say just believe them. That doesn't mean if they're not doing that to believe that they do, right? Always following your own intuition. If they're showing you through action, this is an action taker, someone who wants to make you happy but wants to take things slow. So just know... If you have somebody coming toward you, just because they're moving slow does not mean that they're not interested. This person could be a very, very good match for you, okay? With the cards coming out here, they definitely could be a very good match, but they're just wanting to take things slow and do things the right way, um, the way they feel is right, okay? All right. Wow. Very powerful. Oh, look at the bottom. I was told to look, so I'm pulling it. The sun card. So this is, again, someone who wants to make you very happy. They do want to, I feel like this person is, they have a great sense of humor is what I keep picking up with that delight card. Every time I look at it, I kind of smile. I feel like this is a person that is always wanting to make people smile. So this is someone who's definitely going to want to um, be expressive in a funny way sometimes, right? So yeah, they want to have a good time. They want to like enjoy life. Very nice. Okay, let's see. They have a lighthearted, fun type of energy to them, this person. For singles, for crystal number three, who's coming into their life, please? This King of Cups is a very, very deeply emotional energy of unconditional love. Um, sometimes, you know, really much in their feelings. So this person could be, um, you know, very expressive with their emotions at times. When you get into a relationship with them or maybe even on the way, they're wanting to get to know you. So they might not be um, someone who is afraid you know to kind of speak that truth which is good someone who's open with their feelings but again slow cards so i feel like yeah they definitely want to take things slow so if you're not hearing them be expressive right away right off the bat you know i wouldn't worry i feel like this is just someone who wants to do things um the slow way can I get more for a single? So crystal number three, who's coming into their life? Nothing wanting to come out of this little kitty cat deck right now. <laughs> Nothing wanting, oh, there we go. We got two now. We got none and then two. We have nature. So this person could really enjoy nature. Um, they could really want to spend a lot of time in nature. And vulnerability. Wow. Yeah, see, they're not afraid to be expressive. Very nice. Yeah, so definitely someone who could be a nature lover. You might be uh, going on adventures in nature with this person. That might be something that they really enjoy. And they are vulnerable. So they do, um, they are pretty expressive with their feelings. So that's good. What else for crystal number three? I almost said two singles can't show you the front of the card but we will show you the back oh wow so this is someone who if you get connected to this person 
they're very thoughtful um they'll you'll be on their mind a lot and they'll you know they will love you um a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so i feel like this is the type of person even when you're not in their presence if they're you know say that you're both at work this person will think of you and feel that love in their heart for you so they're very loving this person very very nice they have beautiful energy singles for crystal number three who's coming into their life for crystal number three who's this person coming into their life we have ooh, whoa <laughs> wow imminent and very soon two timing cards that are like this person's on the way for some of you this person is right around the corner and for some of you this person could be coming very very soon wow two timing cards amazing okay so this is happening for you guys soon here i feel like wow if you haven't met this person yet you might be meeting them very soon if you have met this person, this could just mean something is going to shift very soon, okay? For singles, who's coming? Like if you've met them, but they haven't asked you on a date, or you've met them and they haven't asked you to, you know, you've maybe dated them and they haven't asked you to be exclusive. That could be what this is about here. A next step. Mm. see this person is going to prioritize you very nice reflect on your priorities so they will prioritize this relationship beautiful energy coming through for you guys here crystal number three this is someone that noble one says a lot okay someone who really wants to do the right thing by you very very beautiful singles for crystal number three A higher view and endless possibilities. Wow. So yeah, they, this is someone that you will go far with. There's endless possibilities. This is almost like power couple energy I'm getting here. So you're going to be quite the force with this person, okay? And a higher view. Someone I feel who looks at things from different perspectives is very open-minded, okay? Not someone who's very closed-minded. So an open-minded individual, very good. All right, let's get more for crystal number three. Singles, who's coming into their life? Rabbit spirit, ooh, now is a lucky time. So they're gonna feel very lucky to have met you or to have you in their life. Yeah, they're going to feel... So this person's going to very much appreciate you is what I'm feeling here. Feeling lucky to have you or to have met you. Very grateful heart. Very, very nice. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number three. Who is this person? We have two coming into their life help from above so yeah they definitely tapped in to their inner wisdom they get help from their angels you know really asking for guidance um in their life okay in general so i feel like they're a very spiritual person um not necessarily religious i'm getting here but spiritual okay um feeling like they they have a strong connection to spirit and dreams wow so wow with this card here i'm feeling like yeah you both might be dreaming of one another before you even meet hmm interesting yeah that could be a twin flame having a dream about someone you don't know and then you run into them hmm we had the king and queen of cups here divine couple I had twin flame energy I thought came through here too. Two cardinals. Yeah, so for some of you, you could be running into or meeting your twin flame here. 
dreaming about it. So if you're dreaming about someone you don't know, you might want to take note, you know, of those dreams because they could be very relevant to this person coming in. Okay, let's get more. We have a few more to go here for crystal number three. So we have retreat someone who's okay so someone who's going to want to spend a lot of time together um what i feel there with retreat is that they're going to want to spend a lot of time alone with you enjoying each other's company disconnecting from the world oops calling in your soulmate yeah wow so for some of you it's yeah this definitely could be a soulmate coming uh, soulmate calling in your soulmate your energy could be calling this person in your prayers affirmations and visualizations help to bring you together so for some of you out there if you're utilizing prayer affirmation and visualizations about your soulmate you could be attracting this person to you singles crystal number three attraction yep very strong attraction uh ace of wands that was very evident you're both going to be extremely attracted to one another okay whoa whoa now i'm dropping out dropping all of them we got a bunch here we have playfulness give your relationship a chance and this one almost hit the floor mm, interesting okay ah Okay, playfulness. Yeah, I was already picking that up from this person. They're definitely a playful soul. They're going to want to have a good time. Not taking life too seriously, you know, just enjoying like a free spirit. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, they really want to work on the partnership. So when you come together with this person, it's not going to be one of those situations where they're like, okay, we're together. Now we can just, you know, be no, they're going to want to continuously want to work on your relationship, work on your goals. I feel like this is a very goal-oriented person um, for some of you, of course. And then we have this one here. Now, someone from your past is returning. Reconciliation. So for someone here, and this might not be relevant to all of you throughout this reading, or it could be. This could be someone from your past returning. Um, but for someone here... There is someone from your past returning. So you could have been connected to this person in the past and maybe there were issues or, you know, other situations that prevented you from coming together with this person. This is about a coming back together, a reconciliation. This could even be an ex-partner that, you know, you disconnected, you broke up at some point. And, you know, now things have changed. Maybe years have gone by. And there's a reconciliation. That could be who's coming for some of you, crystal number three. Okay, not all of you, but maybe some of you. Okay, let's get these out here. Singles, crystal number three, who's coming into their life. Meditate and contemplate. I want to say, man, this card come out, I swear, for all three crystals. So you all have some sort of a very spiritual person coming is what I feel. Uh, meditate and contemplate. So there's someone who takes time to really connect with their inner being. Like I said, we had help from above, a higher view. They're definitely someone who taps into their inner being. Someone who wants to bring love. Oh, I love it. They want to bring love into your life. I love that so much. What a beautiful energy. I'm going to put these this way so you can still read them if you want to. Um, yeah, they want to bring love into your life. Very nice. What else? For crystal number three, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So yeah, they could have been, uh, you or this person could have been in a very uh, tough situation in your life. And that's going to end now and allow you to move forward in your life. Could be a lot of different things for a lot of different people. And... Hmm. Yeah, wow, okay. So don't let your past hold you back. So this person isn't going to let their past hold them back. Okay, they might have had something in their past that might have been tough to deal with or something like that. This person isn't going to let that hold them back anymore. They might have let that hold them back in the past is what I'm getting there. 
but they're no longer allowing that to happen. Okay, we have one more here. A few cards from this deck. For crystal number three, singles, who's coming into their life, please? Who is this person? Ooh, ancient wisdom. Yeah, you have an old soul coming. Very wise. Someone who's very wise, an old soul. What else? Oh. Perception. Yeah, see, they look at things from different perspectives. They don't just think that their way of looking at something is right. They always kind of have that open mind about them. And then we have healing, healing energy coming through. So very healing energy about this person. They, um, they could be someone who, again, they meditate and contemplate. Yeah, they, I feel like this person for some of you is very spiritual, okay? So their energy alone, I feel, is healing, okay? So you might feel that very beautiful um, healing energy just being in their presence, you know? Ooh, self-loving, very nice. So they make the right choices for themselves. So this is someone who, again, has done the inner work and really has, you know... Um, committed to choosing the best things for themselves and healing and rising in their own power and really taking control of their own situation you know doing the right thing by themselves with the self-love card coming out so that's beautiful all right guys well this is who you may have coming into your life i really hope that this reading was helpful crystal number three as always, I'm sending you lots of love, light, and good vibes your way. Please give the video a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.